I have a confession to make. I have a sweet tooth. And if you're like me, you need a dessert that will satisfy those sweet cravings. Come on, let's get started. Peru is a country that is a food mecca, not only because of its savory dishes, but also because of its fabulous desserts. And one of the most popular Peruvian desserts, Suspiro de Limeña. And today I'm making a passion fruit version. You can purchase passion fruit pulp frozen in a Latin grocery store. I like how the tartness of this fruit balances out the sweetness of this dessert. Let's make the custard. I have one can of evaporated milk and one can sweetened condensed milk that I'm adding to a pan over medium heat. Cook the milks for 20 minutes while constantly stirring. Separate two medium eggs. Place the egg whites in a larger bowl and the yolks in a smaller bowl. The yolks will be used to set the custard while the egg whites will be used to make a meringue. Twenty minutes have passed and the milks have become slightly thickened. Okay, now at this stage, you have some color in that custard and you can add the egg yolk now. However, if I cook it a little bit longer, then I can get that real caramel flavor that is synonymous with dulce de leche. And it's really going to complement the passion fruit. By cooking it longer, we made manjan blanco or dulce de leche. Now we're ready to add the egg yolks. Lightly beat the egg yolks, then add some of the custard to temper the yolks. Then add the yolks into the custard mixture. This will ensure that the eggs won't scramble when you add it to the hot liquid. Cook for about two minutes, then turn off the heat. I like to strain the mixture so that the custard comes out silky smooth. Now we're going to add half a cup of the passion fruit puree. You can substitute passion fruit juice, but only use a quarter cup. Fill serving glasses or other serving vessels three quarters of the way up, leaving room for the meringue. I like to level it out with the back of a spoon. And always wipe the rim for a clean presentation. Now for the meringue. We're adding a half a cup sugar and a quarter cup of red wine into a pan. Traditionally, port wine is added to the meringue. Heat until it becomes a light syrup. Pour into a small bowl and set aside to cool. I had the bowl of egg whites in the fridge and my mixer beaters in the freezer so I can get stiff peaks of the meringue. Beat egg whites until doubled in volume, then drizzle in the syrup. The best way to test a meringue is to flip it upside down. Perfect. Fill a pastry bag with a prepared meringue. Now top the custards with the meringue using whatever design you want. You can garnish with freshly grated cinnamon. Or you can take a blowtorch, although I don't seem to have one. Wait. Use what you have is what I say.
So I was supposed to show you me eating the dessert, but I ate it. Don't judge me. So instead, check out this B-roll. Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, smash that like button and click the subscribe so you can stay up to date on all new content. And remember, food can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, then your cooking is in vain. So make it sabroso.